Another group FDR had to go up against was the Supreme Court. Made up of nine justices, seven of the nine were appointed by Republican presidents, leading to a lot of Roosevelt's laws to be knocked down. According to the Supreme Court, the New Deal programs gave too much power to the government. As a result, Roosevelt came up with his court packing plan, formerly known as Judicial Procedures Reform Bill of 1937. The bill would give the president the power to add an additional judge for every present judge who was 70 years of age or older to the Supreme Court, maxing out his six judges. This would give FDR a Supreme Court that was more in his favor. Not only was this unpopular among the judges, it was also unpopular with the American people, and therefore was never upheld. In 1935, Roosevelt created his second plan for his New Deal programs. This included the Work Progress Administration. This was the largest works program since the building of the Egyptian pyramids. This program set aside $5 billion for work projects, gave a paycheck to people who were out of work, and was headed by Harry Hopkins. Different types of classes of work included professional, skilled, semi-skilled, and unskilled, all of which gave jobs to different people for various projects. However, the Works Progress Administration had its form of criticism, including boondoggling. These critics argued that the projects were useless and that private companies could do the work more efficiently and be more cost-effective. Under the Second New Deal, the National Youth Administration was created. This administration created part-time jobs for high school and college students while also offering them courses in writing, reading, and math. Also under the Second New Deal, the Wagner Act, also known as the National Labor Relations Act, was passed. This guaranteed basic rights of employees, such as trade unions, to strike, organize, and to give them the power of collective bargaining, where workers are included in deciding how much money they make. One of the most well-known acts that is still around today is the Social Security Act, which provides payments to the elderly, unemployed, and the disabled. Under this act, money is taken from a tax on current payrolls and is used to help fund Social Security. FDR had his fair share of supporters, especially within the Democratic Coalition, an alignment of interest groups that supported the New Deal and the Democrats. This particular group helped maintain the Democratic Party's control in the government until 1968. These major supporters included organized laborers, farmers, hyphenated Americans, such as people from varying ethnic backgrounds, progressives, and women. Even today, there is a great debate regarding FDR's New Deal and whether or not it truly had a positive impact during the Great Depression. While many people argue it helped bring us out of the Depression, others attribute getting out of the Depression to the United States getting involved in World War II.